Sub Tech Nerds, Lottie here again. Today we are going to cover everything that we've been up to. Uh, it's been a really good day. We unfortunately didn't take the tank out, but that's because the owner is arriving uh, this afternoon. So we're going to be doing all that sort of stuff later in the week, maybe tomorrow, no promises. In the meantime, I can talk about all the boring engine-y stuff that people really like to hear. So we're going to be covering the fan belt assembly, the sleeves, and all the ceiling, and some painting that I've been doing today. So let's get into that right now. Okie dokie, this is the fan pulley assembly. So those who have been watching my videos know how much we love fan belt assemblies. Um, this is infinitely easier, in my opinion, doing it on this, <laughs> doing it on this side. Uh, and we will not have to be fitting any fan belts because this engine will not be going in a tank anytime soon. Or at least not to my knowledge. It's just going to be a regular demonstration engine on a stand. So yeah, that's, this is pretty much how it's going to look, um, sitting on a stand. We're going to obviously clean it all up. Now, a fan belt. Fan pulley assembly. Pretty straightforward. Go from the main shaft up here. This is our main drive gear. It goes to a gear up here, to another gear here, and it also, uh, the gear up here drives this one here. This gear drives this pulley, and this pulley drives the generator, which will sit over the top of the, gotta get this one right, left hand bank. So this is um, the rear of the engine. Uh, I'll show you the other side, what this looks like. In the meantime, uh, Eagle Eye viewers will notice that the engine is turning green. And that is not because it's sick. We did paint it that. It's unfortunately not the duck egg blue that we wanted, but we had to fit this pretty early on um, in the engine assembly line. So we've had to go and use some of the subpar paint just to um, paint these two surfaces because it's pretty well impossible to do that when it's assembled as it is now. So that's the only reason why uh, the paint is on the engine at this stage. We have sealed it. So that's all the red stuff that is our anaerobic sealant. It's just metal on metal. Uh, it is an oil seal. So this is lubricated. Uh, from the engine, so it does have to be uh, oil tight. It's not high pressure, uh, but still better safe than sorry. A little bit of interesting points for you. This is the lifting eye. These actually go all the way through into the bottom. As you can see them right there. So they need those need to be sealed correctly as well, which I've done. I don't know why I painted it yellow. It just looks nice. This is going to be a nice little demonstration engine. So we want everything to look quite pretty. It's not going to be as hidden away as uh, the one inside the Centurion. So yeah, that is what we've been doing there. On the outside, <clears throat> I have been painting the rocket covers. And they are coming along quite nicely. So these are set up pretty well exactly as they are going to appear on the engine. So this is the left hand bank, this is the right hand bank. So this has the fittings for the oil and the, um, sorry, the oil and the generator, which goes here. Even the dodgy rock rocker cover came up quite nicely. It's going to look really good. So that's where the mod plate is. So just got to peel that off later. Um, I did also paint uh, this. So this is going to be just an oil seal. This covers where the uh, clutch normally bolts into the engine. Because again, this isn't going to be going into a tank anytime soon. But because we're going to be running it, we don't want oil going everywhere. So that yellow plate's going to go over this um, shaft here. It's going to be really good. So very happy about that. Peter has been fitting all the sleeves in the bores and they are looking very nice. So very happy about that. 
um, but it is a long and tedious process. So to reiterate, uh, there's about seven O-ring seals that go in here. I'll actually show you why um, you don't trust crated engines. Uh, and on the bottom, there's another O-ring seal under this. And then he's gone and fitted anaerobic sealant over that as well. These are very essential. We don't want any oil getting past it. Now, we do have, when we've been pulling apart the other engine, we found this rather discouraging piece of rubber. On this side, it doesn't, you know, look like anything. On this side, though, you can actually tell it's layers of O-rings. And these were in, um, inside the liners. That's what happens to these old engines. So that's why you don't trust crated engines. They just go crappy and yucky. So we've gone and replaced all them. And they are in here at the moment. I have been doing all of the uh, seals. So these are the water seals, the brass ones that we were showing the other day. Put some sealant on them, push them in, so they're going to seal quite nicely. They're looking really good. Now these other seals, uh, let's see if I've got a spare set. I'll talk about these ones. So they don't make these anymore. And these are all fitted because there is no head gasket on this. It's all O-ring seals. Uh, we've had to make some up and I've had to cut them to fit. The tolerances in this engine are quite tight, but these ones especially. So you can see the witness marks where the head fits on, and these O-ring seals actually go beyond it, so I've had to trim them just enough because we can't risk having anything caught in these. So this is a sealing surface, so if you have anything in there, um, that will actually impact how the head sits on the bores. Same goes for all these water seals. So this distance right here, um, this is the only seal that you have on these. So we need to make sure that that is nice and tight too. Likewise on the top of the liners, that distance here is the same. So what we're gonna end up doing is flipping that onto that. So they'll, um, they'll be the heads fully assembled. These were not, it's just how they come. Uh, these are a machine fit. So you'll see that they are exactly the same height and they just seal metal on metal. So you need really good sealant and that's where the anaerobic sealant comes in again. Uh, so we've put that one on, letting it dry, and we've got this one, putting that one on too. There's a lot involved assembling these engines, and everything has to be perfect. So that's where all the time goes, uh, but it does look quite nice when it's all assembled. Another really interesting thing that we have noticed, um, the engine over there has slightly bigger uh, valves. So it's slightly more horsepower, but again, it's such a crappy, rusty top. We're not going to bother using it. But even though it's, um, even though this is actually the modified engine and this one is not, uh, it's interesting to see all the differences. We are 90% sure that this is an early engine because they've not drilled out the other set um, of water seals. So that's, um, yeah, all very interesting little. So there you have it. That's just a quick, short little recap of what we've been doing today. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to have something a lot more interesting to talk about. Uh, but for today, that will have to do. So leave a like and subscribe. Leave a little comment down below. Ask questions. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.